So you're thinking about hiring agents for your brokerage. That is wonderful. And honestly, it's a great idea. It is definitely easier said than done. In this video, I want to share with you my experience, what you can look out for when you are in hiring mode for your brokerage. And I will say at the first part of this, before you hire any agents, you want to make sure you are having success. You are maintaining the business with your own customers, okay? And that you are not relying on hiring agents and they produce, right? They bring in the money to hold up your brokerage. You don't want to find yourself depending on hiring agents or the agents you have to keep your business afloat, right? That wouldn't be good. And what kind of leader would you be if your business, you know, you acting as an agent for your own brokerage can't even hold the business afloat? What kind of credibility would you have if you just started a brokerage, didn't act the part as an agent, uh, and you just right away just tried to hire agents to grow your business? You know, a lot of people don't respect a leader if they haven't been in the trenches and what well, you're trying to lead people where you haven't been before. Plus, you don't want to be in that position depending on others to keep your business afloat. So again, this is about hiring agents, my experience of hiring agents and you know what to look out for as far as qualities and agent agent material while you're actually brokering loads for your brokerage. Now I have hired many agents, some with experience, some with little to no experience. I can tell you, especially a good chunk of that beginning part, you don't really want to hire um, agents with no experience in the transportation industry, okay? Even driving experience could help, all right? You don't want to find yourself brokering a bunch of loads and then on your off time, spending your time and energy trying to train somebody with no experience. What may happen, and it's happened to me many times, you, by the way, like uh, starting growing a freight brokerage take requires time and energy. And so for you to spend more time and energy uh, outside of your brokerage, like outside of running your brokerage, um, you know, moving loads for your clients to take more of that time and energy and actually put into training uh, those with no experience, it's going to be a lot of work. And what if it's happened to me? What if you spent that time, invested your time and energy, which you only have a limited supply of, you gave your best training these individuals with little to no experience. What's going to happen is they're gonna they're gonna run across a problem where they need to ask you a question or they need a problem solved and they kind of expect you to solve it. Well, you only have limited time, energy, and you can't solve all their problems, right? You you can give them really good training. There's so much that happens that nobody provides training on. You kind of have to take experience and be solution focused to get through those things that come up. But with somebody not having transportation experience, they're going to require a lot. And when you give a lot and then something happens and you can't be there for them, a lot of them will leave especially those who can't, who are, who are not in a position to work a hundred percent commission, right? They have a wife, kids, and they need to make money now soon. Brings me to my next point. 
you know, hiring somebody not used to hundred percent commission could be a huge change for that individual. And a lot of people can't cut it. A lot of people have just gone so far in their life, wife, kids, paycheck to paycheck, leaving a previous job. They're used to getting paid every two weeks. They're going to have a difficult time, you know, one, having enough money to pay their bills and like two, drumming up business, uh, being that it's a hundred percent commission they're going to struggle and basically if they can't make money fast they're going to leave so all your time and energy going into somebody with little to no experience in transportation and used to a getting paid every two weeks you know i, I would tread lightly with those individuals because your time is quite valuable all right yes i just I've done a lot of training and see people leave because they're used to the paychecks coming in every couple months or every couple weeks. Can you imagine having a wife, maybe a newborn, that pressure? They need money now. So look out for those individuals used to 100% commission, right? Have money in the bank. Didn't, you know, not in a situation where they've got to be paid every week, every two weeks. Okay, you don't need that additional pressure just because somebody is in that position on their own selves. Nothing to do with you. So yes, I would also hire people with experience anywhere, dispatching, driving experience. Okay, that's that's at least something they're bringing to the table of knowledge. And uh, like, yeah, if you as a broker, you have plenty of knowledge, um, you think it's easy, believe it or not, it doesn't come as easy to other people. So I would definitely hire people with some experience anywhere, anywhere in the transportation industry. Another thing, as you are moving loads, you're going to be developing relationships with carriers and dispatchers. As you develop those relationships, you will grow close to a few of them that you have built trust with. And you've guys been through a lot of problems and got past, which, you know, showed you, you can depend on this driver or dispatcher. So Again, as you move a bunch of loads, you're going to be developing those relationships. They're going to be getting close. And here and there, you will you will stumble upon a very special individual that you're doing a lot of loads with, working closely with. You are trust, you very much trust them. You've gotten past all sorts of situations. You guys are both solution focused and they're very credible reliable and all the rest. So, you know, my experience, another example, I have recruited dispatchers that I have worked a long time with. We're talking about years developing that relationship, that trust years. And I have had great luck in picking out these individuals where I have years of actual experience with them. All right. So as you move a bunch of loads, grow these relationships, you will, you will start to select those potential individuals that you might say, Hey, these would be a, this person would be a great agent for my brokerage. You know, they have all the qualities I would look for, which is, you know, knowledge, trust, experience, solution focused, all that you've noticed for years working with them. So just keep a lookout for, for those unique dispatchers that you can see they'd be 
great agents for your brokerage and lead the way. You know, you as a leader, you have to bring them over just because they have worked with brokers, right? These dispatchers and carriers, just because they have been, you know, spent enough time in their profession as a driver or dispatcher working with brokers doesn't mean they're just going to be great brokers. Okay. Because I, I covered this in a video last week or so. Brokering requires a broker mindset. Dispatching, you don't just get a broker's mindset. Being a driver, you just don't get a broker's mindset, regardless if you're working with brokers every day. But who better you than, you know, being the leader of those individuals who you know you can trust and have the capabilities and they want you know, they want to grow in this profession, in the industry. Some just want to be drivers. Some just want to be dispatchers. You know, you would not want to try to recruit those individuals. All right. So just to conclude this video, I would not try to hire somebody with zero experience in the industry. You're not going to have time to waste. Your time is valuable. They're not going to value it. Juggling a brokerage is very challenging and rewarding in itself. But then to take on another individual with no experience, it's going to drag you down. It's going to wear you down. And ultimately, they're probably going to leave in the end. So all that time is going to be wasted. And then understand the, de the relationships you develop Start kind of keeping your eye on those individuals that you think would be a great candidate to recruit them as an agent. All right. So I hope that video helps you. Please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Y'all take care. Bye.